well, well. Sister T one. Aha. That's interesting. And, you know, it's, well, I'm going to get to that later. But I want to go over everything first. Um, I think that first of all, what she wasn't doing, it wasn't, it wasn't stalking. You see what I mean? That wasn't, that wasn't a stalking charge. Stalking is fucking serious. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't say you saw somebody at McDonald's and then you go back to that McDonald's and you, you don't have any idea when they're going to come back or if ever they're going to come back. Um, maybe you could get away with something like that if somebody had a favorite restaurant they went to on the weekends that, and you showed up there on the weekends, that could be stalking. You see what I mean? Because you're not supposed to be just meeting up randomly like that. When it's a random meeting, it's not going to be, it's not going to be stalking. I had somebody try to do that to me one time. I was, um, I guess was I was just getting out of college. Yeah, and that shit was serious too, man, because, see, when somebody throws that stalking thing on you, um, and I don't know if it was a stalking charge. I just heard the word stalking. It might have just been a uh, protective order, but I did hear stalking mentioned. That's not stalking. Um, I got charged with stalking, and um, and I wasn't. I just happened to see my girlfriend on the highway, you see what I mean? But it was that was enough to bring a case because it was a random, too random. You see what I'm saying? That's how they was looking at it. Now, when it actually went to, to trial, the judge threw it out. Now, but on top of that, though, I still had that stalking charge on my, my record for like 10 years. It got expunged. But that shit affected my whole job career and everything like that. And, you know, I want to do the main purpose of this video is to say out of all the videos I've seen Sister T do on YouTube, as much as she is a part of YouTube, this was the first good thing that has happened because of her on YouTube that I've seen. And I watch, I don't watch as much as everybody else, but. I haven't seen her do anything positive on YouTube, really. I'm trying to think. Um, it's not. Every time I've seen her, it's been something. She's mad at somebody and going overboard with the cursing. And um, I want to say this was probably the first good thing that has come about because of her. Because what this does is it sets the precedent. Today was very important. Because in law, what they use is prior cases. And since there aren't that many of these types of things happening probably right all the time, they're going to use what other judges that ruled on. You see what I mean? And if every time somebody gets their, their, um, their feelings hurt or whatever it is, feels disrespected or whatever it is, they're not going to be as quick now to jump jump up and go to court because they don't. I think it was four thousand dollars for the lawyers, from what I hear. It was four thousand. If it was ten dollars, nobody. What do you? You don't want to go to court, drive down there. It's a hassle to park. You, all this shit you got to go through just to get into court. It's just not worth it. And. You know, like, I'm not really on that fringe of things where somebody would try and do that. Maybe when I first started out with Kwame, I could have been up on that line because I was I was bringing it to him every day. <laughs> that's how that's how everybody really that's how Kwame knows me, because I just fucking antagonized him every day because I felt like I wanted him to be more serious. And I wasn't thinking, hey, man, this guy's still young. You know what I'm saying? And maybe one day he will be like, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be like marches and shit, Kwame. You don't have to go on a march and shit or, or, or do anything like that. Little stuff, man. You know, man, um, Christmas is coming up. You should already have people donating for the Christmas drive, toy drive. I mean, little stuff, man. You don't have to go crazy. You could even limit it. 
so that it doesn't get out of hand. You say, look, we're only allowing um, $3,000 or whatever it is. You know, obviously, no, you don't want to get $50,000 because then you got to buy $50,000 worth of toys, right? So you keep it, keep it, you know, say, hey, look, this is what we're going to get. This is what I have time to do and cut it. It doesn't have to big, be the biggest toy drive in the world. And I think I said this on the video, man, if you don't get everybody, at least donate a PlayStation to a little kid on Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but back to Sister T, hey. I'm going to put your name in the title, so if you happen to um, see this, go ahead and check it out. And I'm him. I'm him. <laughs> yeah, I changed my name, but I'm Ramo Red Track. But when I call in on the um, on the links, it says him. Um, so, um, hey, I, I think it was a good day for you, too. And I know that the whole Kwame Brown sector is probably down and shit because they want her to go to jail like i don't want nobody to go to jail you know why i know how bad i don't want to go to jail and i don't want nobody trying to get me to go to jail you see what i mean that's when all the plan stops i don't give a fuck what's going on when you start talking about that we gonna have to have a different kind of conversation and so um congratulations um sister t and I hope that you can find a way to play the game. Because I don't think any of us want you to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want you. I'm not going to watch you do gardening. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, right? You ain't that goddamn interesting. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Kwame started doing some stupid shit like that, I don't want to watch him either. We're coming here for entertainment. We're not necessarily coming here... I think the problem with with you, uh, Sister T, is that I don't know if it's a problem. It's something that maybe you might want to think about changing. Is I think you're just as funny with less curse words. I think that's the one thing that really rubs people the wrong way. Is that we don't like as much as the the, the guys fuck around and everything. We still don't want to see um, you know a black woman acting like that. You know, and I think that's where a lot of it comes from. And if you could just tone that down, I think they'll tone down and then we can all continue the game. But another one bites the dust, I guess. And that's a that's a big chip. You know what I'm saying? That's a big chip. It means more space for me. But, you know, if you got to fall, you got to fall. So, um. You know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, how's that going to affect me? Well, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I did kind of watch her videos, <laughs> believe it or not, because they were out. Kwame and them always talking about her, so I'll go over there and watch her shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I watch two minutes. Sometimes I watch 20 minutes. You know what I mean? I might try and hit her live though one time if she'll do it again. She didn't she didn't let me on, so I didn't get a chance to tell her this. That she just needs to try and play the game. And that's probably gonna be how this whole thing affects me, is I'm gonna try and get to her with the rational voice and talk to her about what I think she should do because nobody wants to see that gardening shit. Straight up, man. I'm not gonna watch that shit. Nah. Uh -uh. Mm-mm. But hey, I want to thank all you guys for coming by. And um, you know, make sure you tell everybody that you listen to the baddest man on YouTube tonight.